Hello, this is part 9, Grenade Radial Damage. In this video, I add a grenade launcher or a projectile gun, and to do that, I added this gun, BP FP gun, on a player character. I added this code that switches to the new gun. I added this code that handles the firing mechanism of the new gun. In first person projectile, I added this code that handles the explosion and applies the damage. Under content, third person sheet, weapons, right click, BP base gun, create child blueprint class. I'm going to name this BP FP gun. Double click BP FP gun. Get to you. first person FP weapon mesh drag SK FP gun skeletal mesh here now go to first person BP blueprint double click first person character expand this highlight spear and copy that go back to BP FP gun. Highlight this and paste. Now drag the spear under the SK FP gun. Compile and save. Double click BP FP gun. Go to viewport. Highlight Spear. Change this to 1 and this to 5. Zoom in and make sure that the spear is centered at the tip of the gun. This one looks like it's positioned OK. So I don't need to adjust this. When you're done, compile and save. And double click FP gun. Assign gun ID to 3. Compile and save. And double click FP gun. Highlight SK FP gun. On rotation for Z, enter minus 10. And compile and save. Under content, third person sheet, double click player character. Add a variable.
I'm going to name this gun offset and type vector, compile, and on the default, enter 100, 0, it's already 0, and minus 10. and compile and save. Double click player character. On the gun switching I added this blueprint here. The other blueprints are the same but I changed the wiring here. So just note that zero goes to here one goes to down here and two goes to the middle one. So I'm only going to show the new blueprint on the bottom here. This is BP FP gun. And this is grip point, snap the target, snap the target, snap the target, just like the other ones. When you're done, compile and save. Double click player character. And then go to first person BP blueprints and double click first person character. Now expand this. Now highlight the spawn projectiles section and copy. Then go back to player character and paste. So I'm going to show how to make modifications to this and connect it to here. Gun holder you can drag from here. This cast to BP FP gun. You have to convert that to a pure cast. This says convert to impure cast because I already converted it. Then drag spear to where this was connected. Down here is player camera. You can drag that from here. Connect that to where this was connected. Mesh. Drag that down to here where this was connected. Input action fire. You can delete that. Montage to play. Change that to fire rifle hip. You can connect this to here. Create these new nodes, assign this three. Gun ID is connected to the input here. Then drag off the middle one. And connect it here. And when you're done, compile and save.
double click first person projectile. This blueprint was added here. I'll show you how to connect it. False goes to here. The output of this node goes to here. The output of this node goes to the destroy actor node. Hit location goes to here, location, location, and origin. This is explosion Q. This is P explosion. Base damage of 100, damage radius is 100, and damage type class is damage type. When you're done, compile and save. Double click first person projectile. Highlight collision component. Expand collision preset. Change pawn to block. Compile and save. I'll press play to test. I'll switch to the grenade launcher. Ow, ow. Uh, everything seems to be working correctly.